Today I'll be unboxing the brand new Ledger Nano S Plus hardware wallet. That way you can see if this is the right hardware wallet for you and if you should be using it to protect your crypto and NFTs. So once we get the plastic wrap off and we take it out of the sleeve, we have this nice little box. It feels pretty sturdy. We can just slide that top off and reveal what we have inside. So we have some documentation right here. Because I got one of the Founder Series wallets, I did get this little card that gets me this Genesis NFT, which I haven't yet redeemed, so I'll have to see what that actually looks like. And I don't believe this is gonna be included with every Ledger Nano S Plus, just these kind of Founder Series, which I did have to pay for. I paid $79 plus like $20 to ship it, so it's like 100 bucks for this thing. Next time, if Ledger would just send it to me, I would much prefer that. But at least this is completely unbiased because I had to pay the 100 bucks myself. Next, you get this little card that says, treat your I'm not too sure why. And then we get your typical secret recovery sheets. These are gonna be your recovery sheets where you write your seed phrase on. All 24 of the words that you need to not share with anybody and you need to keep offline completely. Don't write it down on your phone. They give you three of these sheets so you can write them down multiple times, put them in multiple places, or if you ever need to redo your hardware wallet and get a new seed phrase, you can just toss out the old one and write down the new seed phrase on a new piece of paper. All right, next, obviously there's the wallet, but underneath we're gonna have a bunch of documentation and it looks like like that is it for the box. Nope, I'm wrong, that is not it. You have your little lanyard and you have your cable right here in the box as well. Nice little Ledger logo right there. So when you get into the documentation for your Ledger Nano S Plus, quite the mouthful, you're just gonna get a bunch of documentation about how to set up your Ledger Nano S Plus. You gotta go to the website ledger.com start. They're gonna give you some stickers and of course they're gonna give you all of this documentation in a bunch of different languages in case you wanna see it in another language other than English. Now for the moment you've been waiting for, unboxing the Nano S Plus, which I'm just gonna call the S Plus from now on. You can see that it has laser engraved Genesis edition on the one that I got because I was on their mailing list and then they sent out a basically a little pre-order and then I was able to order this device and I got this Genesis version. You can see it's really similar to the Ledger Nano X. That's the hardware wallet I use the most. It's my favorite and it's the one I use most often. And the Nano X is a bit bigger and it does feel just a bit more sturdy in the hand than the S Plus. The S Plus still just feels a bit plasticky in comparison, but overall it still feels decent because of the metal enclosure that it has. Now before we get into the setup of the S Plus, why would you get this version over the typical Nano S or the Nano X? Well think of the S Plus as basically a more beefy version of the Nano S. Even you can see on their website that it says that the Nano S Plus has a bigger screen and a lot more memory. And one of the biggest differences with the S Plus is you can store about 100 different crypto assets on your device at the same time. That's something that the X has but not the previous S model. The S model, you were limited to about three to five different cryptos that you could keep on the wallet at one time. Whereas the X, also can keep up to 100 different cryptos, which is why I lean towards the Nano X, but the Nano S Plus now offers that at a cheaper cost. And the Nano S Plus also offers a bigger screen, which is a big feature that a lot of people will want and need. And as a quick test, you can see the screens side by side. The Nano X screen is a bit bigger and a bit nicer. I do think it's OLED if I remember correctly. So the S Plus screen is definitely not as nice, but it's an upgrade from the S. As far as the pricing on the two, the Nano S is listed at $59. I paid $79 for my and then the Nano X is listed at $149. The Nano X does have Bluetooth capability, so if that's a feature you really want, then you're still gonna need to go with the X. But if you just want a few more assets that you can put on your wallet, then just go with the Nano S Plus. You also get a bigger screen. And so if you're looking between the S Plus and the X, unless you really want Bluetooth, in my mind, save the extra money and go with the S Plus. Now, in order to set up this device, you're gonna need to go to ledger.com slash start, and then you're gonna go and download Ledger Live if you don't already have it on your computer. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna plug in your new cable to your computer and then into your ledger, and it's gonna start up. And the S Plus also has USB-C, which is a great feature I love, and I hate micro USB on any of my devices. All right, so once it starts up, it's gonna say Ledger, and it's gonna say to hit the right button to continue. So we'll just press that button, Ledger Live, download, and then press right. Use the buttons to navigate the menus and the list, and then use both buttons to select. Hold both buttons anytime to access settings and more. Start Ledger Live for help during setup. Set up as new device or restore from recovery phrase. Reminder, both buttons to select, confirm, or cancel. So this is basically asking us, do we want to set this up as a new, brand new device, or do we want to restore this from a previous seed phrase that we already have? For example, I already have a Ledger Nano X, and if I wanted to take the recovery phrase and import that onto my new Nano S Plus, I could do that and it would still be very secure because the private key, the seed phrase on this Nano X has never touched the internet. However, if you have an existing MetaMask, I would not suggest using your seed phrase from MetaMask 
on your Ledger device because that seed phrase has already been exposed to the internet and you really should just set up this device as a brand new account and then whatever crypto or NFTs you're gonna have to send over into this new wallet address which is gonna cost gas fees but that's the price you pay for security. So I'm gonna set this up as a brand new device because that's what most people need to do once they get this hardware wallet. If you do have a Trezor or some other hardware wallet that uses the BIP39 standard you can just import that seed phrase onto this device and you still have maximum security. So if you're going from Trezor to Ledger or Ledger to Trezor you can do that if you're wondering. So we're gonna tap set up as new device so we're just gonna tap both buttons on the top and then we're gonna choose a pin with four to eight digits. Tap both buttons again and we're gonna choose our pin and we're gonna make it extremely simple so we choose our number and then we choose our pin one two three four and then we can hit both buttons at the top to confirm. Confirm our pin so that way we know we're good and that we remember it. Now for anyone in the comments that's wondering why I'm showing this next portion with my pin code and my seed phrase it's so that you can see what this process is actually like. Once I'm finished making this video I'm gonna wipe this device and I'm gonna wipe this seed phrase I'm never gonna use it so it's fine to share on the screen and so that way you can see it so you can understand the process but understand that you never want to record it on the internet or on your device or on your phone or anything like that I'm only doing this so you can see it but I'm deleting it afterwards all right so it's gonna tell us to write down a recovery phrase your device will generate 24 words they are your recovery phrase is your only backup to restore your accounts if needed write it down in your recovery sheet in the correct order and press both buttons to continue now once you've gone through all of the words and you've recorded them you can hit next now you have to go through and confirm each word one by one to make sure you know that they're in the correct order and this is really good because it makes sure that you actually wrote it down properly so that way you know the correct seed phrase for sure 100 because if you lose this or you don't have it properly you won't be able to get access to your crypto accounts so you just go through one at a time and this is kind of a painstaking process but it's something you definitely have to do and if you don't do it then you won't be able to set up your wallet so you're just gonna have to deal with it and go through it then once you finished it's gonna say recovery phrase is set and make sure you keep it in a safe place and it's gonna give you some good advice if it's lost or stolen you will not be able to get your assets back never share it with anyone ledger will never ask you for it so if you get any sort of email from ledger saying to confirm your seed phrase or from metamask don't fall for those. Those are phishing emails and they're trying to steal all of your crypto assets. Press both buttons to continue. Processing, which means it's setting everything up. Now it says your Ledger device is ready. Go to the dashboard and we can install an app. And we need to use Ledger Live in order to install some more apps. So what we do now is we go to Ledger Live and we're gonna go into the manager settings. It's gonna say allowed Ledger Live on our device. So we hit yes. And now it's gonna give us access to that wallet. We can see if anything is in it. We can see that our firmware is up to date, 1.0.2. We can see our capacity and we can install some apps. So let's go install the Ethereum app because that's very commonly used. So now that the Ethereum app is installed, we can see it right here on the device and we just hit the both buttons at the top. Now the application is ready if we want to confirm a transaction. So now I'm gonna show you how to send crypto or send an NFT into this new Ledger wallet that you just got. And this is gonna apply for all Ledger wallets and really any hardware wallet as well. So first thing you wanna do if you wanna send an NFT into your hardware wallet, well, you're gonna to need to create or have an NFT. So what we're gonna do quickly on OpenSea is we're just gonna create a very simple NFT. We're going to have to sign this request. I'm going to drag an image over here. I'm just going to name this Ledger Nano S Plus. And then I'm going to come down. I'm going to put this on the Polygon chain so we don't have to worry about gas fees. And then hit create. And it's going to create our NFT. So now we're going to get this image that says that it's created. And now we have this NFT within our wallet. So what we do next is we just hit transfer. And we're going to transfer this to our new wallet. So all we have to do in order to get our crypto address for this new wallet is come over here into Ledger Live, go into Manager, and then come over here to Ethereum. Then all we need to do is hit add an account under Ethereum. And then it's going to create a crypto address for Ethereum. We hit add an account and then we get that confirmation. Now we can go over to the accounts tab in Ledger Live. We can hit the one that I named Nano S Plus. It has zero Ethereum, but we can hit receive. And this is gonna give us our crypto address. So it's gonna give us our address. We just hit copy right here, and then we can go back into OpenSea and we can paste that address. And then just hit transfer, and it's gonna transfer the NFT into this new Nano S. We have to sign this transaction, hit sign right there with MetaMask. It's gonna process, and then we get a confirmation window saying that the NFT has transferred. Now, because Ledger Live doesn't have support for all NFTs, especially with these Polygon ones that we're creating, we're gonna need to be able to see that NFT on OpenSea. So in order to do that, we just go up to MetaMask and we hit connect hardware wallet. We're going to connect the ledger and then we hit continue and then it's going to look for the ledger. We hit nano S plus, we hit connect. Now after we hit connect, we're going to get a list of accounts and this first account 
is the account that showed up under Ledger Live. If you wanna go back in the video and check, you can see it started 0x96F95F. So we hit check, we hit unlock. So now it's connected and we can rename it. I'm gonna rename it to Nano S Plus. And now let's go back into OpenSea. Once we're in OpenSea, let's connect our Nano S Plus, refresh the page, and now we can see that we're connected with the right address. And if we come in here to the hidden tab, we can see that now we do have this NFT that we had just sent to ourselves. Now, all I need to do to send the NFT out of the Nano S is just come back over here into OpenSea, hit the NFT and hit this transfer button. And then I need to paste the address that I want to send it to. So let's just send it right back to the original address. So I'm gonna come over here to OpenSea, change my wallet to the YouTube one that I use as a test, copy that address. And then I need to go back into my Nano S Plus wallet. Refresh the page just to make sure everything's good to go and then hit transfer and paste the address. We hit transfer and we get the MetaMask pop-up this time. We hit sign, but now we're gonna have to confirm it on our ledger. So we get this message, it says sign transaction. So we can go through, we can look at the details, we can look at all the details and hit sign message. And then it's processing and it's gonna be confirmed very shortly on the blockchain. And once we get confirmation, you can go check the other wallet and make sure it was sent properly. So that's how you send NFTs into a Ledger Nano S Plus, as well as sending NFTs out of a Ledger Nano S Plus. It works the same with Ethereum NFTs, and also you can use it with other NFTs like Solana-based NFTs as well. Let me know if you wanna see how to use the Nano S Plus with Solana NFTs or Cardano NFTs or any other NFTs. Let me know if you have any comments or questions, and thanks for watching.